Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is set for five three-minute rounds. And it is for the currently vacant Aries Fight Series Flyweight Championship. First, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage with a height of five feet, four inches. He weighed in at 126.9 pounds. He represents Hob Jackson Week, and he fights out of Concord, North Carolina, and currently defends his undefeated record of three wins and zero losses. They call him Vicious. This is Vincent Van Halstein. Oh, getting some booze here tonight. And across the cage Mario's and fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He steps into the cage, also defending an undefeated record of one win and zero losses. He stands five feet, five inches, and he weighed in at 126.5 pounds. He represents Stryker Fight Center, and he fights out of Kennesaw. Well, Mario wins the pre-fight popularity contest. But as, <laughs> as I said, that. as I said, Vincent kind of thrust into the role of villain here. Yeah, and Vincent just, you know, every fight that I remember him, he's just always like as cool as a cucumber, no emotion, just gets in there and tries to get it done as soon as possible. Both of these gentlemen gave interviews featured on the Aries Fight Series YouTube channel. Check out that channel for exclusive content with the fighters. Uh, Houston, you and I are sometimes featured. Tim Loy, Jeff Hobbs, we've all got something to say, and that's where we do it, right there on the YouTube channel. This is the first of potentially five rounds for the flyweight title. Man, these guys are calm. Mario, Southpaw, Vincent, Orthodox. Nobody wanted to make a mistake here in a title fight, a, a feeling out process. And this is probably both of their first five round fight, right? I believe yes, so, yeah. I think yep. you are right on, yep. Jesse. Yes, sir. I mean, what a, what a stage to find yourself here. If you're Mario, your second fight in Aries no Fight Series, you've got a shot at right? the yeah. gold against a, a seasoned competitor. Seeing a lot, a lot of kicks here from Vincent. That was a big calf kick. Flyweight not necessarily known for that one shot oh, kind of power, one. but a lot of respect being shown by both these gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, you see a good balance here of uh, a lot of respect, but not a lot of fear from either of these guys. That's three calf kicks from Mario. All have landed. Let's mm. keep an eye out for that. Ooh. Partially Vincent blocked is throwing head kick. Vincent see. throwing the right head kick. Mario throwing that low calf kick. Yeah, and you almost see Vincent trying to make a plan of that, that making an entry off that right head kick, which you don't see too often. Another head kick. Another one. It's like they're both throwing the same thing every time. Ooh. Got a little bit of a reaction from Vincent there as uh, Umana found the body with a kick. One minute left here in round number one. Spinning back fist just misses. Again, these guys got five rounds. They do have to pace themselves. That's a great point, Jesse. You know, I, I was wondering, um, obviously, for a flyweight, this is a little bit more of a deliberate pace. Who do you think that favors? You know, I don't really have an insight into whose fight this is so far, you know? Yeah, it's pretty close so far. Almost like a point fight. Obviously, the strikes are doing damage, but nobody really pressing the issue. Nice overhand to just miss. I know the, the leg kicks have landed a lot more. The head kicks have more, you yeah. know, just barely missed. So, Ooh. Ooh, another head Mario kick. returning oh. the favor on that one. Nice combo as the blitz comes from Van Alstine. Can he get this takedown? It looks he like, gets it, yeah. yeah he, did, he did a great job on dragging him off the cage for that with 10 seconds remaining. In such a close round, too. This is a 
what, rubber guard here. <laughs> All right, good, just feel around there. Yeah, I mean, you are 100%, Jesse mentioned that these fighters are definitely pacing themselves in flyweight. The likelihood of us going all five is up there. Obviously, we've been treated to so many finishes tonight, but when the title's at stake, you gotta fight a little bit more cautiously. I'll be curious to see who the judges give that round to. It was pretty close. Yeah, Yeah. the yep. re replay featured a moment there when Vincent Blitz, uh, blitzed in. That was probably his most meaningful success, and he finished the round on top, so always a good thing. It was very close on the feet, but you know, uh, Vincent did get that takedown at the end of the round, so. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm thinking the same thing, but you know, in our sport, you never quite know. It's not our job to call yeah, right? it. And uh, as many fight fans know, we don't always agree, you know, but that's fine. That's that's the name of the game. Corners finishing up their last minute instructions. Round two of the flyweight title fight, the first of three title bouts here on Aries Fight Series Fight Night. The final leg of our co-promotion show with NFC and Conflict MMA. We're five minutes down in this, excuse me, three minutes down in this one, and here's round two. Yeah, Vincent's definitely a little thicker. Mario maybe has a speed advantage. These guys both just very quick. Here we go. Nice knee. Going for that head takedown. Doesn't get it. Ooh. Hard kick there from Mario. Looks like a little bit of an inadvertent low blow there from Van Alstine on Umana. He will have as much time as he needs to recompose himself. A big thank you to all the fans at home watching on Spectation Sports, enjoying the first of three title fights here tonight. Yeah, I don't think Van Alstine in any danger of losing a point. The referee's just letting him know, be careful with your weapons. And we're back underway. Again, round number two, five minutes. I'm sorry, five rounds. I had not anticipated this much leg and kicking action here between these two guys and I, maybe I should have but we didn't see this much from Vincent. Well Vincent known for the subs. Uma yeah exactly yeah, right. And, and Umana yeah. pulled off a very unorthodox submission uh, that was actually a really impressive kind of like inver inverted arm triangle yeah. uh, in his victory that we saw. So sometimes those skills cancel out and we're just having a clinch and a, a little bit of a scrap right now. Yeah Vincent having a time trying to take down Mario and he did good at the end of that Ooh. first round of dragging him off the cage and I think that's what he's going to try to do here again. Yep. And he gets him down. And you see Vincent, uh, or uh, Mario again, trying to secure that guard. Just a hard spot to be in for Mario. Very, very flexible individual, and that's going to help yeah, him out amazing. here. But if he cannot Man. free that right leg, he's going to have a hard time doing much here. He's pulling up rubber guard from half guard. It's wild. Kind of weird. It's an unorthodox technique. He, he was able to secure an unorthodox submission from bottom in his uh, only Aries Fight Series victory yeah, over Alex Dees, but that was a little bit of a different situation. And I think for Mario, it's just an opportunity to, to keep him. To Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Hey, Mario escaped, though, and with yep. almost a minute left here in the second round, we're back to standing. And it's not too often that we see that card in MMA, but I think it did good for Mario to keep Vincent from, from advancing on him. Oh, Big man. right hand from Umana. Draws Vincent. a reaction from Van Alstine. Jesse, as somebody who's been in there, do you think Mario's confidence is growing? He got out from bottom, he found some success with the striking? Absolutely, and like I said, this is a five round fight. We've still got three rounds to go after this, so. Ooh, Ooh big shot from Vincent. Vincent's doing great on, on uh, those disconnections and, and throwing in some strikes when he can. Big shot again, just misses from Vincent. Good knee in the clinch. And this is anything but a one-sided fight. These guys are really, really having a good one. Uh, I would say Umana's striking looked a little bit more technically sound there um, than Van Alstine. Van Alstine trying to bully him a little bit and throwing some, some looping shots as he blitzes in. 
I mean, yeah, I think that, you know, he's starting to make a little bit of a call with that that, that right kick to the kind of overhand right and then the blitz, you know, and I think that Mario's starting to become wise to it. Corners making their adjustments. Championship rounds looming large should we get through the third. Once again, this is Vincent Van Alstein versus Mario Umana for the Aries Flyweight Amateur Championship. Uh, his, history making, we have not had a flyweight champion, so this is going to be one for the history right, books, whatever way it goes. these warriors in the round number three. And one thing to note, this is five three minute rounds, which is 15 minutes. It's equivalent to a pro MMA fight. There you go, and I mean, so oftentimes you see these guys win amateur straps and then they turn pro shortly thereafter. Yeah, it just gives them a little bit, you know, a little bit of an edge. Push kick just misses by Vincent. Van Alstein's corner shouting instructions, looking for that perfect combination to get inside yeah, of the defense. Some, they've got some secret codes they're calling out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been hearing that. <clears throat> I mean, conditioning is paramount, especially when you're trying to implore the attack that uh, Vincent has been. Right there, he was able to secure the head and arm throw that he went for last round. I think this is exactly where oh, Vincent he's going for the straight strong, arm bar. Strong arm he's going bar. For the, oh, yeah, that is tight. That that's is nasty. Very, that's very a nasty tight. position. Ooh, Mario doing good, good job on re-angling that. He's trying to get his leg back yeah, up there. They're yeah. right in front of us, guys. Oh, yeah. man, if he this keeps throwing, hard, he could get spot. a stoppage. Yeah, Mario is in a very compromised position here. And he's doing what he can. He's still making movements, and Mario is doing what he needs to be doing as far as pushing his hips down, oh, trying man. to get a neutral position. Chris doing it again. Oh, oh, Mario wow. takes the back wow. right in front of us. Mario takes the back Incredible. right in front of us. He's got one hook in. Let's see if he can get the second hook in. Wow, what a round. That is such a turn of events, too. Jeez. I mean, Van Alstein going for Looks a technique. Looks like he has an arm under the chin. He does. He does. Oh, he's out now, though. He's going to roll. Rolling. Yep. Let's see if he can, get, wow. he can secure the back. He does, and he's out. This is, is an a escape a that I had not predicted, but Mario did everything he needed to do to get out of that very, very compromised position that Vincent Van Alstein put him in. Not many people would have found an escape from that position. That no. was very good for Mario. How bad do you want that flyaway title? Both of no these guys kidding. giving it all they Looks got. Like Vincent has double underhooks here. And that was one and one. Oh, they're out. Hey, Mario slips out. We're back to standing here. A minute to go in the third. That was a wild exchange. That's what you love Woo! to see at flyaway. Flyweight's got stuff like that. You know, and I think that that Vincent took a lot out of his tank going for that, going for that uh, that victory here. And, and Mario, nice one impressively, two. is still really, really in this game. Yeah, Umana meets him oh, at the center. Oh, wow. massive right hand from Vincent lands into a takedown. Got 30 seconds left for this third round. Yes. Vincent heavy on top. Vincent has enjoyed the majority of the control time. Uh, still very closely contested. I mean. Yeah, Mario's trying to, to get those legs in play going, here go, to get go, back Plata. to his feet. Yeah, I think he was going for Gogo ah. Plata, and I just don't think this is the time for it. Agreed. Ten seconds left here in round number three. It is like the rarest of rare submissions to see end a fight. Especially into this into this round where everyone's so greasy, so sweaty. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you saw that uh, Umana was able to escape that hey, straight arm bar. Uh, my favorite fighter is Nick Diaz, so I can respect it. Yes. Right, yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> right, right. I've he's always wanted to see one, you know, hit in one of these uh, like prime time pay-per-views. Big, big respect between these two fighters, too, you see. Now we have the Aries FS ring car girl bringing us into our championship rounds. Oh, round yeah. four of five. We're through three, and this is what makes it a title fight. We got two more to go. Judges could have any variation of rounds on their scorecard, I would imagine. Vincent's won a couple of them. But... It's hard to say. Yeah. That's why I'm glad we're commentating, not judging. I often find uh, myself saying the yes. same thing. Tonight, Jesse, very much right. so. Very much so. I'm trying to think of All the right, fight. Man, you wanted a battle and you got where a we war. saw somebody. Help me welcome these men uh, 
Into the ground. I forget who it was exactly. It was on a prelim. That very same arm bar that Van Alstein went for, that kind yeah, of short. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that we, before. We've yeah. seen it once, and it was actually, I think it resulted in an arm injury, and I'm wondering if maybe Mario didn't hyperextend something. Uh, but we'll see. You know, he looks like he's ready to go here in the fourth round. He looks very ready to go. I'm incredibly impressed with the cardio from both these guys, but mm. but more so Mario. Mario seems like this Man. is just, a, just yeah. a regular walk in the park for him. That this kid has some hard. heart. Yeah, Mario's just got to escape these body locks. That's kind of been the bugaboo here so far. Big knee for Mario in the clinch. Yeah, Another knee. Three knees in a row. Vincent's oh, affected by it, too. I'm, I'm really, really amazed by Mario's uh, skill here against the wall, which you don't see too much from amateurs, especially amateur just one fight. Just Those knees are adding up. Yes. This is where we're going to see Vincent who is, wants to be the champ. Yep. Vincent's trying to shy away from him now. He does not like that technique landing. But you see Mario again getting Vincent's back against this cage. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's a these couple knees of are added up bad. Knees are bad, these. Bad. Now, these. now listen, Vince is, is doing what he needs to do, but man, he wow. was getting affected. Yep. Mario doing a great job on, on defending this takes down, but he gets it here. Again, you see him trying to do everything he can to, to stop Vincent from advancing from that guard. That was Mario, I would have tried to circle it off there. Yeah. You, might, you might have been better served to disengage. I 100% agree with you, Jesse. But again, this is only Umana's second amateur bout. I mean, it really speaks to his raw tools that he's here challenging for the title. Yep. And he's doing a really, really good job on keeping Vincent at bay. Yeah, and Tim Roy must have saw something in this kid to give him a title shot with one fight. And I, no can, see, I can see it. This kid's special. He yep. is, he is, and I'll tell you what, if he could find a way back to the feet here, we've got a minute 25 in the fourth round. You don't know if Vince's uh, bread basket has recovered from all that damage. I'm, I'm telling you, that's gonna be a very sore uh, rib cage, and he was getting him right in that solar plexus where it, it was, you know, had to have been taking some air out of him. Oh, Vincent improving his position now into side control. This is a hard position, Vince has got him chest on chest. This is big, here. and yep. he's scoring big for the judges here. Yeah, I, th I think you're yep. right. You see Mario's leg up there, which is good to, to try to keep at bay for a little bit, but, you know, it's a, this is a tough spot to be in. We find ourselves in a familiar position, a fight where it's going to be the narrative control versus damage, you know. Um, we've seen that at the highest levels of the sport, and this is one of the highest levels in uh, Aries. Mario not looking wor worried. Wow. What a Just, switch up yeah. right into more side control though for Van Alstine. Yeah, but I don't think that's where he wanted to end up, but he did a good job on creating that space and trying to get out of there. 25 seconds left of this fourth. Yeah, Mario's fans trying to will him back to his feet here. You know, and I think this fifth round is really going to come down to a matter of who wants it more and who's got left more left in the tank. Coming up on 10 seconds left of this fourth round. This is the most tested I've ever seen, Vincent. Yes, no, I, I mean, he did face adversity in that Bryce Warner fight, but not for an extended no. period like we're seeing here this evening. That's gonna do it for Oof. round number four. What a fight so far. Yeah, well, gentlemen, this is, if this is what the rest of our title fights are gonna be like, this is gonna be a long, a long little bit here for us. Hey guys, this is too much for me. Let's put, I think the fans want two more rounds on this fight. Throw up two more rounds yeah, on this fight. <laughs> best of seven. <laughs> yeah, best of seven. The World Series is in effect right now. Your guys, I am sweat. This is a good fight. All comes down to this fifth and final round. Yeah. Vincent Van Alstine, Mario Umana, wow. Jesse, uh, as somebody who's been in there, when you're taking knees to the, the stomach and you're able to get control like that, what kind of recovery can you have, especially in between rounds? Is it is he still feeling it? Do you think it's going to play a factor in the fifth? Oh, I'm sure these guys are gas. I don't think I ever got out of fight where I wasn't right, gas. Folks. Personally, right. here we go five with rounds. your fifth and final round. What I respect the most is it's five rounds as amateurs. Like I said, this guy's second fight, he's going five rounds. Yeah. I mean, and much this, respect to this and kid. It's, it's not easy. It's not just he's getting, I mean, Vince is doing damage when he's laying on top of you, hunting subs and, and, and hitting you to the body. This yeah. is the first round that I've really seen Mario come out where he is a little winded. Yeah, his mouth's open. Vince is doing what he can to keep that distance right now. Mm. Mario may be cooking up a body kick there. Yep. Ooh, hard leg kicks from Vincent. Yep. I think Vincent has enjoyed oh. the strength advantage in this one. The blitz from Mario, but he gets his back taken for it. 
And he's down. This is exactly where Vincent wants him. Yep. On top. Mario back to the great feet, body but yeah, here. Vincent is dogged determination personified right now. Mario trying to break the hands, get out here. Turns and faces Van Alstein. Man, Mario's, Mario's, dig a hook. Mario's defense against the cage is really good. Obviously, it's not where he wants to be, but he is making the best out of some really compromised positions. And Vincent changes levels, gets the takedown here in round number five. Man. Two minutes left in the round. Mario's got to try, and well, he finds himself on the bottom now. I understand Mario's plan here, but exposing his back, I don't think is, is where you want to be. With Possibly Vincent. working for this head I arm saw, choke. Yeah, Ooh, it was there out. for a moment. Yeah. Mario, Mario very, he's very flexible. Yeah, it yeah the it's, same thing. it's a yeah. weapon for him. He's used it to kind of cause scrambles to get back to his feet. Mm -hmm. See him again, so wiry. getting a better, better guard here. I think that we see Mario maybe attempting a triangle here. Oh, again with the Uma Plata, Gogo Plata, but just good defense, but I'm not sure if that's what I would have I don't know if position. it's fully in, but um, it doesn't look comfortable. Umada's made a great impression. I show him a lot of respect for trying that sub, but Van Alstine just too much of a bully, able to yeah. disregard the uh, submission attempts and kind of just enjoy control here pretty much been the story of success for Vincent. He's enjoyed a lot of control and he's picked his spots to go for submissions and ground and pound. Mm -hmm. Vincent yeah. heavy here on top, inside control. His corner calling for a crucifix and we've seen that technique. When a fighter can get it, they can really do a lot of damage. He's looking for an Americana here possibly. Yep. Key lock, this is tight. Oh, but he lets go, but passes oh, yeah, right into right full mount. Wow. Mario's in trouble here yeah, now. Vincent's looking to end left. this fight with 20 seconds left in the fifth. He's looking to put a statement to end this fight. And this is vicious Big ground and pound. The ref taking a long look at it. Umana Man, turns Mario, in. yeah, he's still doing a good job. Ten seconds to left in the fight. Mario still doing what he can to be active. Wow. wow. It goes to the judges. Woo. Vicious Van Alstine tried to get him out of there with a barrage of punches in the fifth round. Man, much respect to both of these wow, guys. These what guys a are fight. Well, we will hear the two most exciting words in combat sports and new. We will. It's just a matter of who. I believe the broadcast table kind of thinks that Vicious Vince did enough there. I think he did through that third, through the, through the final part of the third, fourth, and fifth. Vincent did everything he could to finalize that round. A lot of respect there for him. Well, we await the decision here, and I will be speaking to the winner. A great test for both these gentlemen. This is gonna be one for the highlight reels for both Mario and Vincent, regardless of the decision here. What a scrap. Those kids both have a bright future for sure. Jesse, you picked a good card to jump into. Yeah. This has been a good one. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, this is um, Striker Fight Center. Hobbs, JW, both bringing out two great flyweights here tonight for us. These guys both raising each other's hands. These guys are both warriors, both incredible athletes with huge, huge hearts. Big, big futures for both of these guys. That is a fantastic looking championship belt that Tim yeah. Loy is holding in his hands. Let's see who they are going to give it to. Lance coming in with the judge's scorecard here. Fight night fans first, can we give a big round of applause to two amazing amateur fighters.
And now, after five grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judge's scorecard. Judge Johnny Stewart scores it with 50, 45. Lisa Duran, 49, 46. Nala Lechuga, 49, 46. All in favor of and new amateur flyweight champion out of the blue corner, Vincent Van Halstein. So much respect between these two fighters. Wow.